They say all money, good money, but if you a dummy, it's spent. A fool and his money shall soon be parted. If you hang around nine broke niggas, you bound to be the ten. Niggas handing out their cash cause they too weak hearted. I can't give you ten dollars, but I give you two on the strip. Enough to get you off my back, but not to do much with. Now get out and get your own, nigga. Thought you was grown. Now you running around talking about a pocket full of stones. Hit the streets with high hopes and this shit went wrong. Thought you should be ballin', but you ain't Jim Jones. And you like to talk about how you handle what's up y'all i'm back i know it's been a minute but i'm back like i never left uh today i got a quick video that i want to show y'all of a program that i found a few months back when i was doing a bunch of yard signs for graduations and at the same time for birthdays and whatnot um and even banners you know where i had to blow up pictures and you know, I do have Photoshop. I do have Lightroom and stuff like that. But this program right here, Gigapixel AI by Topaz. And I'm, you know, I have been searching around for uh, something that can take a low quality picture and turn it into a high quality picture, like quick. Because, you know, if you're messing around in Photoshop, it's so many this you got to do. You got to do that and whatnot and you still not really getting the best quality of picture you know when it comes time to to printing so what this program actually does is it'll take a picture it'll blow it up for you and, and it'll uh clean it up and give you a nicer looking picture all at the same time so <clears throat> without any further ado let me go ahead and just grab what i got here i found a little picture of a pixelated cat and as you can see here, this is the original picture. And this one is what uh, Gigapixel was actually doing to it. You know, just by me throwing it in there, you can see that it already looks a little bit better. I have it on very compressed right now, This, which is probably what I would actually use. But I'll show you these different little uh, sections it has. Uh, this one is for low resolution pictures, but that's not really actually doing anything for it uh standard uh i'm not sure what they mean by standard but um you can see that it didn't do the picture no justice so lines this one is more for like buildings and stuff like that and it's not doing any justice the art and cg this one is more for um clip art stuff like that you know you find a little clip art online that you want to use and it it does the uh, clip art uh, real good. So we're going to go back to very compressed. And as you can see up here as well, you see 0.5x, you see 2x, you see 4x and 6x. This is basically telling you that it's making it uh, 0.5 bigger or two times bigger, four times bigger or six times bigger than the original picture. So you also you want to come down here and you want to suppress the noise we're gonna come up quite a bit because it was a small picture and you see what that did right there like right off the bat you got a much nicer looking picture if somebody sent this to you and said like hey I gotta have this picture because this is when such and such happened with my cat and it's got to be this picture but this is what they sent you and they wanted it to be blown up and put on a 24 by 24 canvas or something like that this ain't gonna work you know what i mean so what i end up doing is like i'll tell them in the beginning hey you know the picture that you sent ain't gonna work but i got a program and i'll put it in there and then i'll send you a side by side comparison and show you basically what my program did to it and if you like it then we can proceed you know so <clears throat> i brought up i suppressed the noise and then i'm also going to remove the blur and just look at that look at that quality i mean you can't really complain and when it prints it actually my my printer you know i'm on the hp latex some of y'all already know that but 
this right here it's gonna print like beautiful you don't see none of this little pixelation in here that you see on the blanket and in between his ear and stuff like that and then all up here i mean this is doing a, a super duper job and like i don't know why photoshop and them can't get it together and have something this quick you know uh i bought this program for 80 bucks and i made my money back in the same day no lie i was doing uh yard signs every day for basically over a month and um this this program it came in handy for me to actually uh get stuff done quick because i had orders coming in every day you know all day you know yard sign after yard sign and people sending me crap that looked like this because they had a picture on their phone and or they had to get a picture sent to them from somebody and then by the time they sent it to me it's been all compressed and crap so it looked pretty crappy by the time it got to me but with this right here we basically saving a whole lot of time we made it two times bigger you can go to four times bigger and i'll show you that real quick and it kind kind of affects the quality on there because you're making it super huge and then you can see a little more blur and then you can see a little defects in the eyes and whatnot but two times is good and i'll show you why right now when we go ahead and uh go move over to save we'll save the image and then you can see you have a drop down menu right here to where you can save it as a JPEG, JP, uh, JPG, JPEG, TIFF, TIFF, PNG. I stick with PNG. And you have another drop down menu here where you can go for photo RGB, pro photo RGB, sRGB, Adobe RGB, Apple RGB, and wide gamut. So I stick with Adobe because I have Adobe programs and I create the yard signs and banners in Illustrator. So you can actually change the name right here too, but I'm not really worried about it because this is just for uh, the video purposes, just showing you guys this program and hopefully y'all like it. You can go check it out yourself. <clears throat> and then basically all you do from there is just click save. And then the picture is going to be twice the size of what it was and once i throw it into uh illustrator and match it into my design and uh fit it in there i can actually enlarge it in in illustrator a little more i can play with the size in there a little more you know because adobe photos or illustrator it has a way of maintaining the quality that i sent over to it but not if we're going to be starting with something that looks like this you know it'll maintain that quality but it's going to maintain the new quality you know once I, I throw the new quality picture in there you know so i hope y'all like this video uh if y'all if y'all need something like this for your large format printing whether you're using hp latex or any other large format printer i really highly recommend this program because like i said i made my money back the same day and i was not tripping like boom i moved on throughout the rest of that month and people kept on sending me crap you know there's like the old saying you know you can't take crap uh, you can't put sugar on shit and call it cake basically so with that said i hope y'all like this video and i hope y'all come on back and check me out i will be doing more videos and then when y'all come back bring somebody with you and remember be independent be individual be you i'm out